Episode 5, Commissions. Do we do it? Well, in my opinion, commissions are both worth it and not worth it. So today in this video I'm gonna explain why I think you should do it and avoid doing it. And I'm also gonna do a commission. So let's start off with a shaky hand. Uh, today I am really shaky, as you can see. I'm gonna paint some figures from Gloomhaven board game. I think you should do commissions because it, it's both fun because you're painting miniatures that you normally won't paint and you in the best case you get some money and it's not worth it because I think when you get too much work it stops being fun it's not a hobby that you enjoy it you do it because the customer asks you to do it and that's no fun so yeah wow so cool so the conclusion should you do a commission for others yeah go ahead or don't it's the best compliment that you can get in my opinion because someone likes really what you do join all the painters of the world at patreon new patrons tanorberg sad painter tier i enjoy these small commissions because i can do it in a manageable time these four models i will paint at the same time at the same color scheme i done it in a couple of days and the customer wanted to do have it done in about seven to ten days so i was, was really happy with it here you can see I, my hand started to cramp up so i used a model as a painting handle but that was not particularly good because they both have the same size of the base so I use a real painting handle instead Nice way to ruin your brush. This model that I'm painting, it's a staff of sorts. This staff, I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Is it wood? Is it iron? I don't know. Is it a crystal? Is it a flame on top of it? I don't know. So I'm painting it blue as a crystal, I think. Uh, the mech that you see here the customer wanted to paint it like a wooden construct with some mechanical parts on the back and I try to replicate the handle of wood on the axe with some wooden fibers Thank you. 
The Sandstorm is a really simple but yet fun model to paint. The Sandstorm is getting dry brushed. This model are perfect for that because it's there's a lot of edges that you can brush and get out of the dry brush. Use a crappy brush like this, but this one was too crappy because all the hairs started to fall off. I tried to emulate fibers in the handle here by painting small squiggly lines across it. First dark ones and then I will highlight them with a lighter tone. Speaking of commissions, um, I got a com commission here on my Patreon. It is limited to 10 offers. So for $10 I will paint one of your miniature at any size or scale. Here you can see me highlight the skull with the more bone white. I use a dark brown to, to base coat it uh, as the shadows. I leave the base coat so it gets more natural look. And then after the bone white I will highlight the face uh, with the pure white. some gold details on the axe to make it more interesting. These eggs act as a marker in the board game Gloomhaven. First I use a technical color from Citadel and then I layer it with a glaze, white dry brush and finally gloss varnish.
I also used gloss varnish on the handle of the axe to get it more realistic. The details was done on the mech. Also like, share and subscribe. After that it's just a matter of painting the rim. Here you can see me touching the gloss varnish, so remember not to do that because you have to do it all over again. And when that's done, I'm gonna do the base, simple sand and some green tufts. I use some sand, actually this is just some bird sand that you can buy at the grocery store, it's much cheaper. It's like two dollars for a kilo or something. Make sure not to get sand on the rim. Because you have to scrape it off and paint it again. Since this is a sandstorm, I'm gonna put some sand on the sides. So it looked like it's blown off the ground. This is a very professional way to use a sharp scalpel. Just use your thumb as a guard and cut it downwards. Write a comment and tell me what you like about this video or what you think I should do better in the next one.
And yeah, we are done. So here are the final shots. You're welcome.